fast today. How do I copy these circles uh, from this page over here, say, into uh, this space underneath here on this page? Okay, that's a good question. With a page builder, it's really easy. Let me just show you real fast. What we'll do, we'll turn on the page builder on this site, on this page for the one that we want. And this is the row that we want right here. So let's hit row settings. And here it is. We'll do save as. And we'll call this three circles row. And if we make it global, that means if I adjust something on one page, it'll adjust it on all the other pages, like spacing or things like that. So I'm going to say no, because I want to be able to change this around on, from one page to another. OK, so we'll hit OK. Uh, let's hit done. We're done with this page. OK, so let's go over here now. This is the page we're going to add it in this space. So let's go to the page builder. And let's scroll down here a bit. We're going to put it right here in this space, right between these two rows. So let's open up saved rows. And here's three circles row. So you just drag it. I think we said we're going to put it right there. So it gives you a space. So you say, yep, put it right there. It looks good. Um, you can see that it's kind of up quite a bit because that's the way it is here. So it'll lay on top of that slider. On this page, we want it a little bit different. So let's hit row settings, go to advanced, and it's up 120 pixels. Let's just change that to 60. And we'll save that. And yeah, it looks good. So we'll call that done. Publish our changes. And then this is what the page looks like now. These circles are right there. We brought them in.